Police investigating two separate attacks in the New York City subway system. The first happened on a four train in the high bridge section of the Bronx. The other about an hour later on a subway platform in Ozone Park, Queens. Both involved slashings. So far, no arrests. Eyewitness News reporter Sonia Rincon live outside the 167th Street station with the latest on both investigations. Sonia. Yeah, David, the good news is that neither victim in these two unrelated incidents was seriously hurt. And the fact is subway crime has dropped significantly so far this year, which is why these two unrelated incidents are noteworthy. They stand out. Both happened late last night. Just before 11 o'clock, as a southbound 4 train approached the station here at East 167th Street and River Avenue, this is just north of Yankee Stadium, a man reported seeing two guys trying to go through his bag, so he confronted them. They got into a dispute. One of the two suspects slashed the victim in the face and got off the train at this station. The victim stayed on the train. He got himself to Lincoln Hospital just a couple of stops down. He reported all of this to the police there, but it turns out the police were actually looking for this 51 year old victim. They had a warrant for him in something unrelated. He has several prior arrests, so they've been talking to him. About an hour after this incident in Ozone Park, Queens, a similar incident. No robbery attempt there, but a dispute on an A train platform that sent a 58 year old man to the hospital with a slash wound to the arm. There were also two suspects that got away there. And on Monday, we heard from the NYPD's transit chief who looked at the crime numbers in transit in June and July, comparing them to this time last year. A 15% reduction or 31 less crimes when compared to the 203 incidents experienced in June of 2023. When looking at the progress of the year as a whole, meaning from January 1st throughout the th through the third week of July, the subway system has seen an 8% crime reduction. And now we begin the month of August with what Chief Kemper says is the lowest number of recorded robberies in transit in NYPD history so far this year. So people are getting robbed less on the subway now. But of course, it's always important to stay awake, stay aware of your surroundings at all hours of the day. No arrests in either of these cases, but of course there are plenty of cameras in the transit system. Police are looking for these suspects, and we will let you know if there are any images they have to release of these two, uh, four men, two suspects in each incident they are looking for. We will certainly share them with you. For now, we're live in the high bridge section of the Bronx. Sonia Rincon, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. So